we start this video off inside a box, which is fascinating. Uh, this box contains some fire alarm parts I recently acquired. Uh, 36 smoke detectors, two call points without keys annoyingly, and two IO units, all made by Enim, which is how the manufacturer pronounces it, so that's how I'm going to pronounce it. Ooh, I almost just fell backwards. Here's the panel itself. It's currently angry because it's unplugged, because the cable is extremely short, and I don't have an extension lead here for some reason, and it's currently saying power miss. It's got a XP95 detector, two beacons, a beacon base, an intelligent call point, a discovery sounder beacon, and an intelligent mains unit, just to see the relay click. There is no loop 3, that's just a sticker from when it was in use in the previous system in my house, which did have a loop 3, but this one does not. I never actually did anything anyway. Um, it's got the panel here, of course, which I've just mentioned, with the power missing and the key is on for some reason already. But that's fine. And uh, yeah, um, let's do a little test of it. Let's press the call point first. It does go off quite quickly, which is good. But the sound does take a few seconds to activate, which is a bit annoying. There we go. Let's uh, silence the panel. Off that goes. And let's put the key in and reset the call point. This is very hard to do with my hands. There we go. Now that's been reset, let's press the reset button. This panel resets quite quickly, which I like about it. And again, it's quite a simplistic panel, so that's probably why it resets quickly. The Morley I used to have took a very long time to uh, reset. Let's blow some um, magical air into the detector, which goes off quite quickly. First it starts pre-alarming, and then it goes off properly. I haven't set up the pre-alarm to actually do anything, but if I was to install it, I'd probably make like a beacon flash or something, just so security or I would know that something's wrong. It goes off very quickly into pre-alarm. But yeah, pre-alarm does nothing at the moment, and plus I've disabled the panel's buzzer for fire and fault and pre-alarm. Normally takes two. Um, yeah. Normally takes two puffs to make it do something. Well, going to fire those. There we go. Focus. There we go. The relay does actually activate quite quickly. But let's silence it and reactivate it. So once it's, once it's activated, it goes off quite quickly. Yeah. Blow the um, vapour out of the detector. You can actually reset it while it's sounding, uh, if you've already silenced it before and you've resounded the sounders. Watch the LED, and it's already gone off. Reset, done takes about three seconds I think which is quite good and fast you can see it blinking away there and the um, side LED despite what despite the mode I set this call point to discovery or XP 95 it just does not blink which is odd but these two do blink so yeah I've set it to discovery and XP 95 I've taken one from the main system that it was currently blinking before I removed it and that didn't blink either so I'm not sure why it does that but it does work and you can you know test the LEDs in each device There's, there is quite a few testing options for it so you can trigger the LEDs which I'm pretty, which I'm pretty sure you can do in most other panels um, what else you can trigger the outputs of course so the beacons the sounders whatever you've got on the system and you can trigger the LEDs and you can trigger the detector remotely to test it as well but of course I prefer to test it, you know, by actually triggering it with something. But yeah, that is the system for now.